Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome back to Knack3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and assemble our Y-axis carriage. So let's get started. Alright, so in this segment we're going to go ahead and assemble our X-carriage assembly. To do that, you're going to need a piece of linear rail cut to 455 millimeters, a piece of half inch by half inch or 12.7 millimeter, aluminum bar stock cut to 480 millimeters, You'll need your two end caps for the X carriage. You'll need three of your alignment tools for the X carriage. You'll need 18 metric three by 16 millimeter screws. And you'll need a two and a half millimeter drill bit and the three millimeter tap. So to do this, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our half inch bar stock onto one of our end caps. Go ahead and set the, that's gonna sit like this in there. Now I've gone ahead and test fit and made sure it's right. You're gonna wanna put your bar in, put both end caps on, make sure it's a nice snug fit in between these two bearings. Not so tight that it binds it. So you may have to take this a little bit off of the bar depending, but I've already test fit this, it fits good. Now that I've got this in place, I'm going to go ahead and slide on some of my alignment tools here. skip at least every other one so I'll put this over top of that one put both end caps on just make sure I've got this aligned nice and centered in the middle all right so for the amount of holes we have on here so we get a nice neat even spacing what we're going to do is we're going to drill both of the center ones here, then we're going to skip every other hole. So you'll have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten screw holes we're going to drill in here. We'll drill those out, tap them to metric three, and assemble this on here. So now that I know I've got these out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up all these screws, lock the rail in place. Now we can go ahead and take the end cap back off. Don't worry, that was just a printer, no big deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill these holes out and I'll be right back to tap them. Alright, so I've gone ahead and drilled out all the holes as we discussed. Now we just need to go through and tap them out to metric three. All right, so that takes care of drilling and tapping our 10 holes here. Now I did forget we need two more metric three by 16 screws because we still need to mount 
the screw hole or drill and tap the screw holes that hold our end caps in place. We're gonna go ahead and put the end caps back on. Now we have two holes here we need to drill out. Going down through there, we'll drill those two out and then we'll be ready to tap those and that'll be the last two. All right, now because of the odd angle of this, there's no easy way to do this on my drill press, so I'm gonna have to drill these by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and start it off and see how far I can go here. Now we can pull both these caps off and go ahead and tap these. All right, so now we've drilled and tapped all 12 of the holes we need to drill and tap. I'm going to go ahead and put Loctite on 10 of them and let it set. And then we will go ahead and put these 10 screws in while I'm waiting on that to set. I'm going to go ahead and pull this bar off and polish it up. Um, ideally, you probably want to leave that on there so you get the best alignment possible. I'll have to play around make sure I get it nice and lined up again. But uh, the person who I'm building this printer for is going to like it if I shine this up to a nice high shine. So I'm going to go sand it a little bit more and run it on the buffer while that... Uh, Loctite sets. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm a few steps ahead and I've realized that I forgot to tell you to thread this hole right here. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and clear clear the hole out, run your two and a half millimeter drill bit up in here. About as you know be able to tell how deep it is by the raised edge on the bottom of this. And then thread it as deep as the tap will go. And then you're going to go ahead and thread a 30 millimeter metric 3 screw in there. And we want to run this really long one because, well, it's only going to cut the threads with your tap probably about 15, maybe 20 millimeters into there. And then you want to let the screw cut the rest of the threads for you. This way we can kind of treat this whole carriage as a nylock for our y-axis end stop set screw this will let us dial in our bed level basically once we get the carriage leveled out then you'll be able to go ahead and set your height so that your nozzle doesn't destroy your build tack sheet I'm just cranking this up to what I think is about the right height for now And then I will have to fine tune this once I get the nozzle under. So I'm just going to stop right there. Okay, so I polished up my crossbar there. I'll go ahead and, whoops, forgot that I put an extra screw in there to hold it, keep it centered for me while I got everything together. Take that one back out. That one doesn't have any Loctite on it. So now we're going to go ahead and put all of our screws in here with our Loctite. Go ahead and take off our alignment tools. Still have that last screw to put in. Let's go wipe down any lock tight that might have oozed out the end. Make sure I got all the polishing compound off of this. Now we can go ahead and put our end caps on. Now 
and we can go ahead and put our two screws into these. Okay, who wants to stop me from putting that screw in because I forgot something again. Might help if I put the bearing pack on the rail, wouldn't it? Go ahead and pop this one off real quick. Set the rail up. Get the bearing pack out. There we go. Now we can put this back on the right way. Okay, so now we need to put this in between our two side rails here. I wish to tell you there was an easy way to line this up other than eyeballing it, but really it's eyeballing it. So, now what I do know is that my little piece, when it's lined up with the hole right, is almost, my little tool anyway, is almost all the way in once I hit these holes. So what you're going to do is you're kind of going to have to sideline it in there. Get one side lined up, the other side lined up, and pop it in place like that. And then you can usually shift it around. There we go, and I just hit it. There we go. Now I got one in on that side. Now the trick is get another one in here. Once you get one in, you do a little twisting and tweaking and you can usually get the second one in no problem. Now we can go ahead and try and line up a second one on this side. Now 
There we go, we now have our x-axis carriage installed. In case our X and our Y, but here's our X axis. Alright, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for updates. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is the printed solid affiliate link, an Amazon wish list, and a PayPal me link all in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.